Imagine you're walking to your car with friends on a weekend night. Suddenly you're stopped by police and thrown to the ground. Good evening, I'm Delia D'Ambra. And I'm Stephanie Lopez. Thrown to the ground for no reason and the police won't tell you anything. It happened to one Chapel Hill student. Can you get him off the now ground? this is a little bit difficult to see, Can but you what you're looking ground? at is cell phone video of a UNC student being detained by Carborough police. Can you please get him off the ground? Talib Cochran is a senior from Raleigh, North Carolina. He said he was walking down North Greensboro Street in Carborough when police stopped him and asked him to show his hands. He never communicated clearly why he was stopping me. Cochran says he showed the officer his hands and then told the officer he was going to put them back in his pockets to keep them warm. That's when Cochran says police restrained him. One officer had, you know, arm and the other one grabbed my other arm, hit me from behind the back of my legs and forced me to the ground, face first into the, to the concrete and immediately, you know, put the handcuffs on me. He says the situation was humiliating. I had snot running down my nose, down my face, uh, and I couldn't wipe it or anything because I was laying on the ground, my hands behind my back. Cochran says police made him lie right here with his hands behind his back for 15 minutes before being released. When they released him, he started recording. Here's some of the footage he captured on his phone. I wanted each and every officer's name and no, badge number. Nah, I wanted, I'm asking, I'm asking Deshaies. for confirmation. Deshaies. Officer Deshay, can I get, can I get your name as well? Y'all gonna walk away from me? After putting me in handcuffs. Don't stand in the street. Cochran says he and his friends met with Carborough police and filed a complaint after the incident. He says Carborough police told him there was miscommunication between police officers on dispatch, asking officers to look for a black male wearing a dark jacket and tan pants instead of a white male with the same description. Cochran says the situation has led him and his friends to lose some trust in police. We feel kind of intimidated and afraid of them, and it shouldn't be that way. We should look to them for help. We contacted Carborough Police. Captain Chris Atak told us the case is still under investigation and had no further comment.